Welcome to the Site 65 podcast. I'm your host, Robert Tomato Peterson, and we have a lot of people at this lunch table today, although one is sick and sitting in the corner. We're going to start with him, E11 Sergeant Halo. Hello. Uh, yes. I'm wearing a uh, mask right now, so you guys don't get infected. Very smart, very smart. We also have joining us again, Keegan. Keegan, how are you? I'm doing all right. Cool, cool. Uh, Richard, you're also here. Hello, Richard. I'm back. What's up? And uh, nice to have you here. And uh, joining us for the first time is a uh, fellow. Well, I can't really say fellow anymore because we'll get into that shortly. But we have Executive Caesar. Hey, what's up? It's Skinny Pete here. Oh, my God. You're still using nicknames? Fine. I'm Caesar. What's up? Hey. No skinny listen, Pete today. Listen, I understand you love Easy Pete from Fallout New Vegas, and I understand that you are skinny, but you can't just go around calling yourself Skinny Pete. It sounds kind of weird, okay? So theoretically, I could go by Abnormally Thin Pete. Uh, yeah, that sounds better. All right, I think I'll go with Caesar. All right, fair enough. Uh yeah, so everyone, welcome to this lunch table. Uh, I I brought I bought food from home today. I'm not gonna lie, I brought a peanut butter sandwich. No jelly because jelly is disgusting. Um, yeah. So, uh, Caesar, since you are the newest guest on this podcast, uh, why don't you tell everyone about yourself? Like we typically ask people how they got into the foundation, uh, what they do mainly, and then we talk about crazy stories they've had working at the foundation. So uh, why don't you just go ahead and talk about that? Sure thing. I've been around since the launch of Site 65 in Canada. Um, You see, I don't know why I called it launch. It was constructed, but I joined the first day it was opened. And uh, it was kind of cool because I got to do very unethical things until ethics kind of took over and started doing their things. But I had a few fun little things I did. Um, oh, permanent damnation uh, for D class and things of that nature. Lucky bastard. Great. Another psychopath. Uh I forget that there were that there was a time where ethics wasn't really a thing on site where we we just kind of had full reign to do whatever we want. I don't know if I was technically around for that, but I've heard plenty of stories about it. Dude, we murdered uh, thousands of un unwilling participants and technically innocent civilians we brought as D class cuz we kind of just took them off uh, from Pinewood, but, you know. You like, run out of D-Class? Yeah, we almost ran out of D-Class, but Pinewood had a bunch of PAM members that we kind of just, you know, took after a long-fought battle with no Geneva Convention registration. Um, that was great. Geneva Convention, more Geneva like... Can Geneva suggestion, exactly. Yes. I was about to say that, and then uh, Richard started talking, so I stopped. Apologies, apologies. Now, yeah, you're fine, Richard. You better, uh, now that you're saying that so publicly, I quite hope that you have some sort of pass or way to avoid them at the moment, because they are a vindictive bunch. Nah, I'm pretty cool with the ethics. Uh, they, I'm not concerned I'm... about you. Oh. Sorry. Openly admitting <laughs> to, um, to ignoring the Geneva checklist is... A bit of a problem with foundation. Oh, okay, that's what we're talking. Okay, yes, yeah, Caesar. Sorry, what was that? I said yes, yeah, Caesar. Caesar, we're sitting right across from each other. How do you not hear me? Well, you see, I have hearing problems from the time I did a cross test. From 682 to 457 and 079 together, it sort of caused um, chemical reactions with a releasal from 682's body, 
457 ignited the chemicals and caused the very last boom. Killed everyone in the room except for me. I know. Kind of cool. I survived that. Um, I don't lie I'll awake at night thinking of the people I've killed. Me and you, huh? I have hearing issues I... because of this. Oh, oh man. The ethics Look, community hasn't have... bagged half of you as a goddamn miracle. I'm lucky I don't have any issues from any of my messed up tests. Jesus. Yeah, I'm. I think I've I've probably gotten brain injuries before, but I think the amnestics cleared them up. <laughs> that's not you how brain. I I don't think that's how amnestics work with the brain, though. I don't, I don't think, think you remember how brain that. injuries work either. Yeah, <laughs> I, Listen, I think when the depression what? hits. I go to med bay and I say, "Pump me full of that forgetty juice," and I forget while I, why I am sad. That is. You can do that. They don't allow me to do that. Fuck. Hey, oh, no. You're not supposed to do that. I, I just kind of do it. They won't even let me have therapy. They're supposed to you be administered for high head? trauma incidents. I create my own oh. amnestics. Not even. Never mind. Uh, what what's the next topic? Caesar, I I've seen your amnestics. Your like amnestics green. is a bag full of paint thinner. Well, you see, it serves a similar purpose as to what a regular amnestic would do. Uh, no, it doesn't. Only... You're just getting high. I mean, are you shocked by this? No, I mean it's research. 99% of the people we work with are just high all day, whether it be on 420J or some other shitty drug that they pump into their systems. But, I mean, paint thinner? My god, have some class. Do you live in a trailer? That might explain why I authorized the D-class brute bubble bath test. What? Oh my god. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. We have so many questions. I, I have yeah, a lot of I'm concerned, but we'll get to that in one second. I just want to remind everyone listening, because I forgot to do this at the start of the show. Um, thanks to site administration allowing this, uh, the show is now on Spotify. So if you're listening on Spotify, thank you very much. If you're not listening on Spotify and you're listening on YouTube, they also thank you very much. Listen on either platform. We don't care. Um, there's also a way to support the show now. So research drinks a lot of coffee, lots of coffee, because, well, we need to get research done. So, I mean, site administration doesn't really know about this, so kind of keep it on the down low. I mean, they're probably going to hear about it after this episode goes out. Maybe I'll cut this. Maybe I won't. But there's a way to support the show, and you could buy us coffee. Oh. And yeah, it just it the link will be you know attached to the show and in the descriptions of the show on Spotify and YouTube. So go ahead if you if you feel like it, obviously, and uh, buy us a coffee. Uh, decaf. I need a please. lot of them. Anyways, uh, Caesar, since yes. uh, since you are the new guy at the table. What is the craziest thing you've seen on site? <laughs> okay, okay. So, there was one time I did an unauthorized quadruple cross test on site 65. How um, are it was you about... not... it was, How you, are you allowed about... to do these things? I've been asking to... Okay. I've been asking to do tri tri triple... I, I almost said cripple. Triple cross tests forever, and every time I bring one up, the ethics go nah. It could be like nine 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 some butterflies, but like no, they won't let me. Who said I got it authorized? I don't recall oh mentioning God. that. Dude, you have no idea the kind of things E eleven will let you do if you give them paint thinner. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I'm not surprised, but at the same time, Jesus Christ, like, I shouldn't even be complaining because I've done stupid tests in the past before, but quadruple cross-testing is just insane. 
The craziest thing I've ever done on site, though, or seen to answer your question, I burned an a I burned an for and I sniffed the uh, I sniffed the ashes and got high. I I I don't. What? How long ago was this? How long ago was that? Answer the question. Burn it with? How long? How long ago was that? Uh, I think last week. What the fuck? Dude. Dude, there was already an outbreak. What was I supposed to do? Not unsniff the spores. It was already burned. What was the danger? What? I'm so concerned. What possessed you to do such a thing? Well, they won't let me do a test on this. Listen, I was at a dinner. I was in the breach shelter, and it was just there. I saw it pulsating and mutating, and I was like, okay, well, we have advanced armory here. I got a flamethrower, so, you know, uh, it, it worked out that way, okay? I, okay, I get burning it. Like, that makes sense. You want to get rid of this. You want to get rid of the spore. I get that. What, what then possessed you to walk up and take a, take a big whiff of the burnt spore? It wasn't really a whiff. I sort of snorted up. I snorted it up like cocaine. Sort of. Oh my god. What is your problem? It, it was a situation that has now been uh, handled. Um, oh, don't worry. I will never do that again. If I, I ever do anything. Um, I, th I thought me and Matra did crazy shit in Side 20. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, this is unacceptable. It's only unacceptable I mean, I in the eyes much. of those. I can't say much because I'm retired now. So, like, who? I, like, what am I going to do? It's only, for you? it's only legally unacceptable if the ethics committee knows about it. The exactly. ethics committee are going to know about this. Oh They're yeah, in the podcast. Well, I'm, I'm under the influence. What I am concerned. saying is definitely not true. Um, I have been lying the entire time to all ethics who are listening. I am under the influence. It doesn't make <laughs> it any better, you know? No, you're not helping your case. Showing up to work high as a motherfucker will not help your case. I'm on my break. I'm chilling with type green right now. I'm in his cell, bro. Oh, what? my God. Stay, okay. Get out Stay of there. Stay away from the SCPs. I'm going to. Chill with it. Type green B is chill with it. They wouldn't let me talk with to how, 9 With how you act, you'd make a great CI. You care zero about rules, you break every sense of the Geneva Convention, and you like randomly doing shit for no apparent reason. Oh, I've worked with Chaos before. Um... Ooh. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Caesar! <laughs> oh god, they are gonna be so low for you. Don't worry, man. They are gonna be so bruh. It's been handled. They were a part of the quadruple cross test, bruh. What? Uh, what? This is gonna be a fucking field day for whoever handles these things. Oh my god, I'm gonna have- You you do realize that before I put these podcasts up, I have to submit them to site administration, right? Yeah, probably, I don't know, man. Oh, you could probably, like, redact the spore thing, because I forgot that that was a- That was a You'll thing have... that I'm supposed to say. I'm going you... to! I'm gonna have to redact like I'm half of this now. podcast at the rate he's going. I've known about some shit that I'm not supposed to know about, and they haven't really. I I have a whole like video log on, and they haven't really done anything about me yet. So okay, if, if you don't see me ever don't, again, don't, don't be admitting to stuff just because one person admitted to something. I've already admitted. I've already the sent a whole the video log. I've already sent a video all. log to the site inspectors, and they haven't really done anything. People so. like you are the reason the ethics committee will never run out of a job. Like, you are basically giving them free rights to exist. Thanks to you, right all one will have a lot of work today. That's why you have to ass assassinate... Never mind. You were going to say assassinate the... No, no I never he said no, what he said. No, no. no. we're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk war. about that. Jesus. Look, I understand that we get to some crazy shit at Site 65. I understand that. However, Caesar, I'm yeah. going to be talking to Darby and Kiryu, and we're going to put you into rehab. Oh, man, again? 
Yeah, really, I don't get worry. I get demoted and he gets put into rehab. All right. Don't worry, Look. if you're willing to help CI smuggle SCPs out, they can smuggle you drugs in. No, no, oh, no, no, no. You know, I think you're the OC. There, I think <sighs> if we can do that more, um, off podcast, I think that'd be an interesting idea. We can discuss that right after this is done. I still know some people from back there. Oh, I'll meet you too. Keegan, you ever think this was a bad idea? Yeah. Really, just about now, you're thinking that? No, it kind of hit me about ten minutes something. ago. Well, well they, it happened for me the first episode when that dude, you know, said that thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is the best unpaid job. Yo, 49, you want something? I got coffee. I got coffee. Paying... Anyone want coffee? Oh what? my god, don't Why get him coffee. Why is there? All right, never mind. Sorry, I'm back. Keep... Give what? him coffee. Why is 049 there? So upset his stomach. It's a breach. I'm on a call. I have a radio chat with the SCPs going on right now. We have a little communication device set up. It's like a little test we're doing. I like to imagine 049 has like a crank radio that he just has to like crank up and like talk into. Oh, he does. I gave it to him right now. Uh, That's a we'll door. Have to... <laughs> back. Hold on. Oh, Give me a second. God. All things considered, he's like the nicest hey, SCP, what, bro. Can I just ask that? I'm going to just say his thing is on golf. Fuck! My fault! <laughs> shit, can't talk about it. Richard, are you okay? Uh, no, I just had to confirm something with someone. Uh, I ended up wanting to ask if I can talk about a certain incident, but I was like, yeah, I don't need to have a certain task force on my ass any more than already. Yeah. Hey, uh, so I'm retired now. Can I join you wherever retired people go? Uh, I cannot disclose the location, but don't worry. We will find you. This is not a threat. It's not <laughs> it, a threat. It, I mean, it, it kind of sounds like a threat. No, but really, no, unironically, you will find this place just... And it just okay. happens. Cool, cool, cool. You'll take a one-way trip to the infinite Ikea. Oh, oh yeah. That is not... Uh, not you guys, quite what have you guys is. ever actually been to an IKEA? No, yeah. not not the particular IKEA we're talking about. Two thousand eight, yes. like an actual IKEA. Indeed. No, but I have ironically been to three thousand and eight, but I have also been to regular IKEAs. You have, you've also been canonically speaking on more paint thinner. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ! That's not my oh, no, that's fine, incredible. Guys. I mean, is that where you got the. Oh. Wait, where did they tell you about the, that incredible drug they ended up making from that from that weird crystal they found? <gasps> oh, dude. Okay, hey, I was the spearhead of that specific test. It was involving four hundred nine. Yeah, see, so it turns yeah. out our guy. Yeah, you see, some of our guys ended up actually finding a way that they can make it even more potent and ended up selling it to finance some operations. Brilliant idea. Problem is, Site 53 is now addicted to that stuff. That's such a good idea, dude. I think I'm going to do that with another type of, um, another type of anomaly we have on site. But anyway, I'll have to get that approved. Uh, what's the next time? I don't think you're going to get that approved. I'll try my best. I know some people. Don't worry. All right, I'll talk to your, I'll talk to your people. I don't like how the CI is so willing to help out with the destruction of lives. Oh, no, no, no longer CI. Thing. I have resigned a while ago. The big difference I is... That. Oh, I've also recently found out that I might have gone schizophrenic. Because Ooh. I see things which aren't there. Oh. No, that's just... I hear, I hear names, and I see people, and I see other people in places of them. And it's been driving me to the point of insanity. I not even a month ago refer, um, remember referring to a certain lad who goes by the mil who now goes by Mill, aka the militant, as Doe, even though I sure as shit know but know nobody by the name of it. And I am still mind boggled by the whole endeavor. I'm so confused right now. Wait. So that's really so when, when, when I checked into this place, I was politely told that I can't pay properly because you don't have a soul. And now to this day I'm wondering the fuck they meant of that. What the fuck did they mean? So yeah, that's a wonderful mystery for the research team. <laughs>
I don't. I don't even know what to make of what this episode. Me of we, we, it started off so innocently. We were just talking to you guys and Caesar, and Halo's been sitting here just observing everything silently. I'm, I'm and sure I, he's no, no, no. He's not. He's dialing the ethics committee right now. Yeah, also, I mean that is true. He yeah. has been on his phone the whole time. Um, oh, you're all so fucked. But really, though, um, I'll see. You, I'll see about getting your daughter this place soon. People we got like amazing him. drinks here. Caesar makes my job harder. Understandable, to be fair. Hey, I mean, I'm pretty more. sure that man's responsible for fifty percent of all breaches. At this oh, point, I'm kind of considering. Yeah, he probably is. I mean, I'm gonna say we take responsibility for the other forty percent. Actually, no. My old UI takes responsibility. I still say we are. I'm never going to get rid of saying that. I'm going to have to get rid of that habit. Nah, no, I understand that completely. I'm still going to be referring, my, referring to myself as executive, even though, like, I'm not executive anymore. You are in our hearts, brother. I try my <laughs> best. Thankfully, the site still allows I mean, me to come and spend lunch with still you guys. Executive. I'm sorry, what was that? Aren't you on the reserves list? Yeah, I'm technically on our legacy system, but, like, I mean, you know, I just kind of pop in if, like, I, I want to host a lecture or two and, like, you know, someone needs to get um, fired. But uh, that's basically that's, it. That's my mm -hmm. job at this point. That's quite nice. Oh, by the way, as to get to really here, it's the door to the door. This helps a lot more than you'd think, bro. All right, well... I, I'd say at this point we're kind of winding down with lunch. Um, Definitely. I, I don't know. I, I finished my sandwich. I finished my sandwich ten minutes ago. But um, I'll just go down the list of people. Uh, Caesar, do you have anything you want to say to end off the show? Yes, real quick. I wanted to get your specific opinion on this. I think soon I'm going to buy some thigh high fishnet stockings, and I wanted to know. No, nope, um, we're not talking about this. Oh, um, bloody hell. Not Halo, this you're next. Cameron. No comment. Understandable. Richard. Mm, say hi to Stoker. That's all. <laughs> sure. Keegan. I completely forgot what we were talking about. I was phasing out playing this video game. Understandable. Get off your phone. You can't play Fortnite on Foundation Time. Aww. All right, this has been the Site 65 podcast. Thank you to all the people hosting. Um, I'm your, also your host, Robert Tomato Peterson. Support us if you can by following the podcast on Spotify and YouTube. Also support us by buying us coffee. The link will be down in the uh, descriptions for each episode. And thank you very much for listening. Have a wonderful day.